and girls and welcome to today's phonics lesson. So the first thing we're going to do is warm up those brains and remember all the phase three sounds that we've learned so far. And as you can see, we've learned a good 16, I think. Yes, 16 sounds already. So let's have a go and see how many you can get right in a minute, okay? Ready? Oh, trigraph. What's that trigraph? I. Sheep. Oh, stick your tongue out. Mm. Da, da, da. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, nearly fantastic. Look at that. That was really speedy. Okay, the next thing we do is we'll do our tricky words that we've been learning. So let's do tricky word trucks. Let's have a go at revising all the words that we've done so far. Uh, and there we go. Let's do, oh, let's do a sunset. I could do with some sun. Let's do yellow for the sun. Okay, ready? Get ready. Two, shout them. The. No. Was well done. He, me, be, go, I, sh, e, she, my, we. Well done. Excellent tricky words. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, it's the wheel. Spin the wheel is back and I'm hoping it doesn't land on any alien words this time. And what we're going to do is have a bit of a rhyming session. So it says read and rhyme. So I'm going to spin the wheel and whatever word it lands on, you're going to send it out. And then I would like you to think of a word that rhymes with the word on the wheel. So let's have a bit of a spin. You can pause the video, mums and dads, and you can have a look at the word, get your child to sound out, and then find a word that rhymes with this word. Now I'll give you this one, because this is a tricky k -k -k. It's not the k in kinetic letters, but this is a kicking k, okay? So we've got, ready? S, digraph, e, k, seek. Can you think of a word that rhymes with seek? Well done, okay, excellent. Right, next one, ready? Let's spin this wheel. And it has sound effects as well. What will it land on? Oh, a vowel digraph, okay. Let's start with R, A, N. Rain, it rains from the clouds. Rain, 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 rain. What rhymes with rain? Pain. Eliminate that. Let's have a go. What rhymes with this word? Oh, okay. Ready? Digraph. Ch, ch, i, n. Chin, chin. What rhymes with chin? Shin. You've got a shin. I wear shin pads when I play football. Okay, we'll do two more. Okay, 
Okay, let's go. Diagraph. Sh oh. Shop. What rhymes with shop? Chop. A pork chop. Okay. I will leave that there, boys and girls. Well done on those rhyming words. Well done. Okay. So we've done our rhyming, we've done our tricky words, and we've done our flashcards as usual. So today, unfortunately, I can't get onto YouTube today uh, because we have had a new Wi-Fi update and it won't let me on. So I do apologise for that, mums and dads, but we are learning a new sound today. So I will upload the videos on our class pages for you to have a good sing-song too. But the vowel digraph we're learning today is this. And you can see that it's two. Oh, oh, oh. We've got the oo sound. Now this also makes an uh uh sound, but we are learning the long vowel digraph, the oo, oo, oo. Can you say oo for me? Oo, as in cuckoo. And I've got the Jolly Phonics book here and it shows a cuckoo. And this is your action for today. It's a cuckoo. Cuckoo, and it can be found in the middle or at the end of a word, never really at the beginning, okay? So if you want to pause the video now and you can have a look at the Johnny Phonics song and also Geraldine, she will take you through the ooh, just the ooh for today, not the uh, just the ooh. Remember, it's got two oh, oh, oh. So you can pause the video and have a go at learning the ooh sound. Okay, welcome back. So, hopefully by now you would have seen Geraldine talk about all the ooh things she can find in her house. So we're going to have a look at our flashcards. And then if you would like to do Berry Treasure or Ob and Bob, you're more than welcome to have a go at that to apply that ooh sound into your reading, okay? So let's have a go at this word, ready? You may want to pause the video now and you can do it on your own, but we're going to have a look at this word here. So it starts with a z, ooh, zoo. I went to the zoo. Chester Zoo is my favorite zoo of all time, zoo, okay? Let's have a look at this one. Ooh, hoof. A horse has a hoof, hoof. And you may want to put it into a sentence as well. Er, oot, root, a root. I had some root vegetables for lunch. So they have a root when they're put into the ground, root. Okay, I love this. Food, food. I have lots of food with me today, food. Okay. Now, this is different from the two tricky word, which only has one off. So this word is two, but it means also. I want to go to the cinema, not this one. I want to go to the cinema too. I want to go to the cinema also, okay? Uh, we'll do. You need this in winter when the snow is really, really high. Boot, boot. Uh, oh. Ready? Zoom. The rocket zooms off to space. Zoom. And it's quite a warm day today, so you need to make sure you are. Cool. 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 I need to cool down, it's very warm. So the oo sound is the one we are learning today. So it has two off, oh, and you can find this in your book club books. So 
it's going to be our favourite game. And our favourite game, of course, is this. Now, you might have seen this before, but now you can start applying that into your reading, okay? So, we're learning the oo sound today, and you can see here, we've got b, oo, boo. So, now you can actually apply that oo sound into your games that we do. So, b, oo, boo. So, we're going to have a game of boo. So, if you would like to have a bag and pick out a word, and if you choose boo, then you are out. And you have to put all your cards that you have back into the bag. So, you can have a go at applying the oo digraph, the long oo vowel digraph, into your reading by playing a game of Boo. And it's also called Kaboom. So that's a different version. But we'll stick with Boo for today. So you can pause the video here and have a go at Boo. Welcome back. Excellent, boys and girls. Well done. Okay, so ooh, let's go from the beginning. So the long oo sound. We're going to have a go at revealing what is in this box. No sound buttons here, okay? So it's the oo digraph. Let's have a go on your own. Ooh. What's that word, boys and girls? Ruth, can you put the word into a sentence for me? Tell your adult what that may look like in a sentence. A roof is on a house. The roof of a house. Next one. Let's see if you can sound that out on your own and then put it into a sentence. T -oo -oo. Tool. Tools. A hammer. A spanner. My dad has a toolbox. Okay, let's see what's next. Yum, yum, yum. See if you can do this on your own. Food. My favourite food is lasagna. Food. Let's see what's next. Ooh, I wonder if you can tell your mums and dads what this means. makes a hooting sound. An owl! An owl can hoot. Oh, we're not going to do that one. Okay, this is now a game. I'm going to read the sentence and you're going to write down what you think the missing word is using the oo digraph, okay? So I'm going to read it and then you're going to try and write what you think is going to be in this box. And if you're right, you can give yourself a house point or a turtle tick uh, using that oo sound. Remember, the oo sound was a oh and an oh. Well done. Okay. So, the owl called with a... I wonder what that word could be. What sound does an owl make again? A hoot. See if you can spell hoot. Is it the same as mine? Oh, it won't let me go back now. Uh, there we go. There we go. Is it the same as mine? Well done. Okay. Please hand me my box. What kind of box can it be? A uh, toolbox. Excellent. Can you spell the word tool? And then check, it matches mine. I don't think this is working for me today, boys and girls. Very sensitive. Tool, did you get it right? Well done. Okay, the water in the something is really warm. The water in the something is really warm. Pool, can you spell pool? I'd love to go in a pool right now. It's very warm in Tarpoli. Pool. Is yours the same as mine? Uh, I don't think it will be. 
today because I'm not on the right one. Boom! Well done. Okay, next. The chef made tasty. What is a chef and what does a chef make? Food. Can you spell food? Is it the same as mine? Let's have a look. Of course. Food. Okay. The something leaks when it rains. Ooh. The something leaks when it rains. Now, I'm going to actually. Oh, why is it not doing what I want it to do, boys and girls? I'm going to have a look at that one because I need to. Oh, okay. I understand. The last one is roof. Roof. Can you spell roof? And then check. It's the same. Oh no! The same as mine. Have you got the same as me? Excellent. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, I'm going to get out of that and we'll do the final sentence for today. And this sentence is, I go to the moon in a boat. Eight words. Really, really tricky this today. So, I go to the moon in a boat. Eight words. I go to the moon in a boat. Break it down. I space go space to space the space moon space in space a space boat. I go to the moon in a boat. So I, how do I spell I boys and girls? Well done, capital, it's a capital. So, oh, not that straight today, Miss Selwyn. I Go. Go. And an O. Uh. If it's two O's, it's goo. We don't want goo, we want go. Our tricky word, go. I go to. It sounds like two with the O uh and O, uh, but it's our tricky word, too. Well done. I go to. Lots of tricky words today. I go to the. Well done. Make sure our tall letters are tall. And start from brave monkey. And those that start from scared monkey, touch the floor as well. I go to the ooh, moon. Let's spell out moon. Mm, ooh, mm. Moon. Remember, down bump, back up, push over, down bump, back up, push over, down bump, and flip. Ooh. Oh, and oh, well done. I'm hoping I can fit it all on one. Just about. I go to the mm, ooh. Mm. Moon, I go to the moon. Put another line in. Move on to the next line if you need to, boys and girls. I go to the moon in. In. Sound buttons as usual. Oh. In. A. Space. A. Uh, Boat. Ooh, send it out. B boat. Boat. Make sure it's a b and not a d d d. But what's the o diagraph, boys and girls? An o uh, and an a. Uh. Well done for remembering. O diagraph. But. Oh. 
boat, 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 and full stop because it's a statement. Right, let's read it from the top. I go to the moon. I go to the moon. In, in. I go to the moon in a. I go to the moon in a boat. Boat. I go to the moon in a boat. Can you go to the moon in a boat? No, you need a rocket. Okay, take a picture for me, boys and girls. And off you go. And that is the end of our ooh phonics lesson for today. So we'll move on to the uh, 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 another way of doing the uh and off uh digraph in tomorrow's lesson. So keep your ears out for that message in your class pages, okay? So I will leave everything on our class pages and you can have a go at learning the ooh digraph. See you soon, boys and girls.